Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. As you can see, I am here auto battle farming and uh, by the title of the video, you probably click to uh, kind of figure out and uh, want to know all the details to, you know, saving the battery on your account. But before we get into that, I got a special guest with me here today. His name is Asian Thunder. What up Asian Thunder? How you doing man? Hey, I'm doing great. What's up? So Asian Thunder is actually the one that kind of brought this to my attention and was like, hey, uh, if you didn't know this, hey, fun fact. And I was like, oh, this is actually a pretty good fun fact on how to like really maximize your battery. And uh, so before we get into that, though, um, let, let me be very kind to my guest here and uh, go ahead and introduce yourself, Agent Thunder. I'd like uh, for you to share a little bit more about yourself, uh, what guild you're in, uh, how you got into Summoner's War. And uh, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, um, my name is Agent Thunder. I've played this game almost six years now. I've been in SSA for about two of those years. And I'm mostly a Siege player. I got into this game because a friend when I was going to college with was like, yo, man, check this game out. I was playing a different game at the time. Tried it out. I got Lucian, my first legendary scroll, and I Ooh, thought he sucked. Damn. I thought he sucked. So I didn't, I didn't want to play with him at all. So then I actually quit the game for like six months. What? And then he was like, yo, you know what? Just like try it again. Because I saw like he was doing GB10 with his Yen. I was like, wow, your Yen has orange runes. Like I never got orange runes. I only got green runes. He was like, Dude, if you just power them up to 12, you get legendaries. I was like, really? Okay, let me try this. And then that's when <laughs> Lapis came out, Veramos came out. I just followed some guides online, and it's very casual. And now, since I've played for six years, like I'm good enough to join SSA and partake awesome. in their siege. That's awesome, man. Wow. What a, uh, what a story. You're definitely one of the OGs, you know, the uh, struggles of uh, the game, I guess. Um, with all these crazy updates, I mean, do you agree that the game has come, like, freaking a long way? It has, hasn't it? It was really hard to do TOA back then, and now it's like you can auto this stuff. I remember it took me almost like two months to do GB10, because I didn't want to do the slow team. I, I couldn't build like Sigmaris yet, and everyone was thinking like, who's the fifth like attack slot? It was Darien back then, doing like four minute runs. I would have quit the game if I did four minute runs, but I started with like minute 30 runs, two minute runs. Not bad, not bad. It was nice. All right, well, uh, speaking of runs, we have this new update with the auto battler. And uh, as you can see, I have my screen open to it. So you guys can see uh, me doing auto battling. And one of the things I've kind of noticed myself with my device is that it lags a little bit sometimes, right? So I think um, the FPS or the amount of frames that you need or the amount of processing of the system that you have needs to be a little bit stronger. And on top of that, I've also noticed that my phone has also started to get a little bit more like overheating. You know, it's, it's starting to, you know, burn my battery and burn my phone down. Have you experienced the same thing, Agent Thunder? Yeah, it's it's the same problem. Like, if people slept on their phone and they have their run oh, running yeah. overnight and you have, like, an eight-hour run, even though the phone's just there. Right. Uh, a lot of phones nowadays have, like, solved that problem by if your screen is on for too long, then there's, like, a black filter over it, like the lock screen. And with the new auto battle, it's, like, constantly running in the background. So you got to make sure that usually when you play Summer's War, you don't want too many background apps to run because that can like kill your battery life too. True. But true. with the post that I sent you. Yeah. So it, let's, uh, let's talk a little bit about the post. Um, we will actually put the post, uh, for this, uh, topic that we're talking about in the description below. Full credit goes to, I believe his name is Jacob. Yeah. Jacob and Paul. So big shout out to him for kind of like looking through this, but we've kind of, uh, in this post, he kind of talks about how the auto battle is really draining your battery, right? Really using up the battery in your phone. And, uh, he kind of like uses this application to kind of monitor his phone and see what screen that he can leave his phone on and how much battery it's kind of eating up. So I think this is a great way to kind of maybe reduce the amount of like um, um, processing going on, maybe it will re prevent your phone from overheating, overheating might help out as well as, you know, increase your battery life for a longer period of time. So let me go ahead and show you some images here. Um, I'll put them up to the screen. The first image here is actually the image that he gives us of his, of his device, right? Here it is. So this is the image of his device here. All right, so this first image here is an image of that uh, he had of his device. As you can see, he has this like little application CPU and battery life. And within that, you can see the uh, the word current, right? It's on the it's underneath the section battery and it's under the I think it's the fifth line. It says current and it says minus 195 
MA, or I think it's supposed to be like MAH, which is like milliamps per hour or milliamp hour or whatever it is. I'm not really tech savvy, so I'm not sure, but I'm that's just basically how much you know battery or how much usage is kind of going on right now in the device. And the reason why he shows this screen is he's just showing how much you know usage is going on right now on his screen just on the home page. Right now, his home page could have you know a bunch of things going on, which could be different for your phone, but just to use that as gauge uh, as a gauge, it's minus 195 um, MA currently right now with nothing else running, no other processes uh, going on, no summoners or action going on, right? The next image here, which is interesting, is the image of, and the next image here is an image of his device with the same application, which I guess there's some kind of application he downloaded to kind of monitor, you know, the usage that he has on his phone currently. And as you can see right now, he, uh, he said he's auto farming in the background, right? So he has turned on auto farming as I have. And uh, if I click away here, I'll be on the same screen as him, I guess. And he's just on his main island. So he has auto farm running just like I do. And he's on his main island. And it's currently at a minus 661 MA currently right now. So as you can see, it's a pretty higher usage, right? About three times the usage of just, you know, not running Summoners or not auto farming and on your home screen. So that gives you another gauge of how much energy is uh, being used and how much battery life is being used. Next, uh, he was able to test this. Uh, auto farming while inside his rune manager and what he noticed is that it, while in his rune manager uh, it actually takes up less of his battery life minus 433 so I, i'm sure this kind of like sparked some interest in him to kind of figure out what could possibly be the fastest screen to i guess you can say uh reduce and accentuate the amount of battery life that he has on his uh his phone so he went through a bunch of different things and tested a bunch of different areas and it turns out the best place and the place that you want to be leaving your screen while you're auto farming is actually right here on the friend request page oddly enough right i guess it kind of makes sense i mean i said it's odd but it kind of makes sense just for the fact that there's not a whole lot going on so if he says if you remove all your friend requests and you go to your friend page as you can see it's only minus 370 which is actually not that much more than being on the home screen. So um, it's a significantly less amount than being on the regular screen of your, you know, your island. So I think this is uh, pretty neat. What do you think about these findings, right? Do you think it has some merit? And do you think it's uh, anything of value, Agent Thunder? Well, the thing is, like, when you're on your island, depending on how many sprites you upload, because people who put, like, island art or have, like, all 120 mods out there, then the number can constantly change. So we don't know how many monsters he has or things like that. True. But... Maybe if you removed all that stuff and all the island, you'll get down lower. But people want to keep the island however they want because they build it a certain way. So that's why when you're going to the friend request screen, it uses your battery power less and you check maybe, what, 10 to 15 minutes for each of your runs? Right. That's actually really true. I mean, I'm sure he doesn't have that much on his uh, home island and he had that much usage going on. But it's it's true that anybody that's you know playing Summoner's War, you probably have units out. You probably have a majority of the buildings and it's going to take a lot of processing and burn a lot of your battery life just leaving that screen there, right? The units, the characters, like as you can see, I have a little bird yeah, up there kind of walking around. All these units are walking around like burning the battery, right? Using the battery life. So it's pretty interesting yeah. that you can open up the friend request and reduce all that. Go ahead. Yeah. And one of the things he probably didn't test is like what if you're like constantly powering up runes because you're you're huh. still making like network connection calls or things like that because com to servers have to know like when you're powering up a rune like oh this is plus one so they can save these files and things like that so all that interaction can like play in part of you draining your battery life more but if you're just constantly running and then like let's say at the end of the day you just want to clean up your runes this is the best way to do it but com to us is trying to tell you like yeah it's better for you to like be trying to do your runes while you're farming mm -hmm. so to save more battery life and when you're on the go or something like that your battery your phone doesn't have to constantly be charged oh i see i see true so um i, I have a little bit of a stupid question here uh, is there an actual direct correlation between um this test because this test is on your battery life right but what i'm what i'm uh, more concerned about is you know the overheating of the phone there's kind of a correlation right and how much it's processing and you know the battery life being used quicker if things are being drained too fast and your battery can like output at the same time, then yeah. Okay, so it's, it's a pretty good uh, correlation here. So um, I guess there you guys have it. Uh, with the with the auto farming feature out until Com to us like optimizes things, which I'm not sure if they can to reduce the processing and you know reduce the strain on your phone. Cause right now it's, it's really like, I've never felt my phone this hot, like playing Summoner's War. So um, yeah, it's definitely doing something different, right? More than the normal. So your battery life is going to be draining and your phone's going to get overheating. So now you guys know, make sure you guys go down to your 
friend request list. Make sure you delete. Oh, I have a bunch of friends. Uh, delete all your friend requests. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I guess as you're auto farming, just kind of leave it there and uh, put a mental note to come back every 15 minutes. It'll increase your battery life and hopefully maybe reduce how hot your phone actually gets. So yeah. One last finding that um, uh, Jacob here found is um, he says that, you know, for some people that are on this page, right? They're like, okay, I'm auto farming. Um, I want to save battery, but I want to talk to my guild. I kind of want to chat, right? How can you chat in this, you know, screen? So he actually gave a uh, interesting tip. He did a little test. If you, he said, if you zoom all the way out of your island, uh, further north where the sky is here, you see how it's like empty over here. He says that if you, if you go all the way up to the top over here, and of course you can, now you can chat, right? Uh, if you go up to the top, he said he was, he was getting, uh, about n a minus 380 in terms of usage while he was up here. So, I mean, that's maybe a little fun fact as well for you guys to note that uh, if you guys want to, ch you know, chat as well. Yeah, going up here might be the better option to kind of sit there and chat and then kind of go back down there for your auto farm like 15 minutes later. Or just stick, in, stick around in the uh, friend request section for the majority of the time, which is interesting, kind of weird that we have to do that. But I mean, I'm sure some of you guys are running on, you know, X amount of battery life as you guys are at work. So you guys want to maximize your, you know, output and how much you can farm while you're at work without a charger so i think this is uh some pretty good tips anything else you want yeah. to add to this uh, agent thunder yeah if you want to do that trick where you're talking with your guildies while you're farming you probably want to put the place where you're doing repeat energy near the top so then you don't load as many pixels or oh, as true. many background images as you're seeing stuff true one other That's thing true. that i've noticed kind of going in line with that is the more zoomed out you are sometimes the lagger it is because it's like it's trying to load more on your screen so sometimes when you're doing these auto battlers, it's nice to be able to zoom all the way in and kind of stay a little bit more focused on your island. It kind of prevents a lot more of the lag uh, is what I've kind of noticed. Before we end off here, um, what do you think about this auto battle system? I mean, I just, I've been asking a lot of people on their opinions and how they felt about the new auto battler and, uh, and this, you know, repeat battle system. Do you like it? And do you have any suggestions for it? I like it. And it's nice that we finally have auto battle and we don't have to constantly be looking at our phone every Back then, it was 30 seconds if you were a decent player, and now it's probably like minute, minute 30. And the more they do auto battle, I think it's better for us to not like keep our eyes on our phone or looking at our phone constantly. Uh, one thing I would like to change is, I mean, I always like to test mobile games just to see like what other companies are doing. And one of the things I like the most about other games I played is like, let's say I want to go back and I, I want to see a run like every minute, minute 30. Then maybe they should give a bonus. It's like, oh, at the end you want like two times, three times the reward, then pay this extra energy to get this chance. So like one dungeon runs nine, I can pay another nine energy and get somewhere between two to four times extra reward. And that's me like actually playing the game instead of auto battling this much. Interesting. Okay. Interesting suggestions. I mean, uh, maybe we got to bring you someday to the, uh, the podcast to give some of your insight and suggestions. Uh, one thing I wanted to add on to this just before we end off, just a couple different things I just thought of actually, is that um, I'm going to bring us back to this image here real quick. And this image is the image of uh, him auto farming. And while he was auto farming, this was him on the main island. And again, this was the highest usage, which was 661 MA. He actually said that when he was normal farming, right, which was DB12, right, because he was farming DB12 in this for auto farming. When he was normal farming, he got an average of about 550 MA. So definitely we can see that there is, you know, uh, a distinct increase in, um, in terms of battery usage just from having this auto battler feature, whatever kind of uh, processing that it's currently doing in the game. It's uh, definitely a little bit more, right? About like 20% more in terms of usage on your device. So something to kind of keep a note of as well on that there is definitely an increase with this auto battle in terms of the usage for your device. So I think that makes there. sense because yeah. when you're like on an island, there's more things loaded versus when you're actually looking at a DB12 run. Right. And now when we're having auto battle, we have like DB12 run on, on top of an overlapping island. So we're just adding more stuff on the phone for it to load, right, right. which causes all these like battery consumption issues that people are having. Right. I agree. I, I need to put, uh, change my stuff to this screen here as well. So there you have it. Hopefully that helps you guys out currently until, you know, there's another remedy or maybe some of you guys out there, if you guys are, you know, tech savvy people, maybe let me know. Maybe what we're talking about here, we have no idea what we're talking about, right? But uh, maybe do some research. Maybe it kind of uh, sparks you guys to test things out yourself and give us more information. Leave your comments down below. I'm very curious to hear what you guys have to say about this. But as of right now, and from what I know, I will probably be extending my my battery life and my, uh, my phone's you know, long-term life by staying on this screen as I do auto battle. But uh, Asian Thunder, thank you for taking some time to join me, man. I really appreciate that.
And uh, like I said, maybe we got to get you around for a podcast in the future. Anytime. I'm happy to be on this video of yours. Appreciate it. Uh, make sure you guys hit that like. And of course, you guys are not subscribed to the channel, which I know more than half of you guys are not. So make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell notification. We have videos every single day. And I'll see you guys in the next live streamer video. Peace out, guys.